In the world of online advertising, it's more important than ever to protect your accounts and avoid getting banned. In this video, we will take a look at one of the best anti-detect browsers on the market, which is Multi-Login. First, let's understand why we should use a multi-login browser on advertising platforms. By using Multi-Login, you can significantly reduce your risk of getting banned from ad platforms and social media sites. This is because mask your device's fingerprints, making it difficult for these platforms to track and identify you. Manage multiple accounts. If you manage multiple ad accounts, it can help you to avoid linking your accounts and getting them banned. Improve performance can also improve your ad performance by reducing the number of times your ads are blocked or filtered, and other filtering techniques. Most websites use tracking technologies, such as cookies, digital fingerprint, web beacons, etc., to collect information about their visitors for various purposes, such as providing customized content, targeted advertising, fraud detection or bot detection, or changes your digital fingerprint parameters, such as IP address, operating system and user agents. As a result, they hide your digital identities and stop IP bans from ads platforms. To ensure anonymity and manage multiple accounts without any bans, it's also important to mask your online location. No matter what websites you visit, be sure that you're being monitored and your browser data is getting stored. In today's tough online advertising world, so are like secret weapons for advertisers. They help protect accounts, improve ad performance, and manage multiple accounts easily. Let's take a deep dive into the dashboard to guide you step-by-step -step through setting up a profile browser account within the multi-login platform. So, as you can see, here is the dashboard of the multi-login system. We will add a new profile from here and give it a name. For example, Facebook Account 1. From here, we will pick the host operating system of your device. An important point to pay attention to is that you must choose an operating system relevant to your own to avoid fingerprint detection and make everything appear consistent. Since my operating system is Windows, I will choose Windows. Next, we will choose the type of storage. If we select cloud storage, your browser data, such as cookies, cache, and other browsing information, will be stored on remote servers in the cloud. But if we choose local storage, your browser data will be stored directly on your device. In the browser section, we have two options, Mimic X and Stealth Fox. Let me explain the difference. Mimic X is designed to imitate Chromium-based browsers like Chrome or Edge. This option is ideal if you want to blend in with most internet traffic, as these browsers are very common. On the other hand, Stealth Fox X mimics Firefox-based browsers. This is perfect for users who prioritize privacy and want their browsing to appear as if they're using Firefox. Now, let's check out one of the best features that Multi-Login offers, which is their residential rotating proxies. I have five gigabytes of bandwidth here. I will choose a proxy from the United States and specify the region and city. For the protocol, I will select SOX 5 proxy. There is also an option to make the proxy sticky for as long as possible, which is great. Next, let's jump to the location section where we can set the language we want to use in our browser, as well as the time zone that must match the IP address. This also applies to Web RTC, which stands for Web Real-Time Communication. It allows your browser to share audio, video, and data directly between users. This technology is crucial for many online platforms. Many major platforms such as eBay, Etsy, and Amazon rely on WebRTC for their communication processes. If these platforms detect that your WebRTC is disabled, it can raise red flags. We've seen this happen before, and accounts can get suspended as a result. So, what do I suggest? Do not disable WebRTC at all. Instead, consider customizing the settings to enhance your privacy while keeping it enabled. However, it's important to handle geolocation settings with care. While enabling it can enhance your experience, you should always be cautious about which sites you grant access to your location. Now, let's check out some advanced features. Screen resolution. Setting this correctly is crucial because platforms often check your resolution to identify unusual patterns. If your resolution looks inconsistent with your device type, it can trigger suspicion. So, keep it in line with what's typical for your device. Media devices. Ensure your media devices mimic what a regular user would have. If a platform detects an unusual combination or missing devices, it might lead to account restrictions. Consistency is key. 
WebGL, and WebGPU metadata. These features reveal information about your graphics capabilities. If your metadata looks too different from your browsing profile, it can raise red flags. Always customize these settings to match your device specs for safer browsing. Canvas graphics. Websites can use Canvas fingerprinting to track users. By customizing your Canvas settings, you can reduce the chances of being identified and protect your anonymity. Other features like audio context, navigator, and port scan protection must be configured before launching your browser. In the sidebar, you have the full report on what you did. You can verify all the steps you completed. Once you ensure that everything is correct, just click on Create Profile. With one click, our fresh browser is ready. We will click Launch, and as you can see, our multi-login fresh browser is ready to start using. Remember, keeping your online activities private is crucial, and utilizing the right features can make all the difference. Don't forget to use our coupon code below the video to get 30% off your purchase. It's a great way to enhance your online security at a discounted rate. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might benefit from these insights. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks on online privacy and security.